hey what's up guys i hope you are doing your best this is your yasa here with another video and today's video will talk about the type of solvents okay so in this video we're gonna talk yes it is type of solvents now solvent is broadly classified into two categories The first one is called as polar solvents, and the second one is called as non-polar solvents. Okay, now what are polar solvents? Uh, polar solvents which are having non-zero. dipole moment dipole moment non zero dipole moment okay or you can say they are having certain value of dipole moment certain value of dipole moment now you'd be thinking what is dipole moment dipole moment is the calculation of net bond moment net bond moment okay is the net bond moment if it is non zero then molecule is said to be or the solvent is said to be polar and if it is zero dipole moment then it will be called as non polar solvent first we'll talk about uh, dipole moment so dipole moment is a quantity which decides the polarity of the molecule but here you can see the dipole moment is zero so the molecule is non polar uh, the solvent is non polar the unit of dipole moment is mm, deb okay deby it can be given as coulomb centimeter or you can also write it as an esu electrostatic unit into centimeter okay these are the two units now many students get confused about the dipole moment how to calculate the dipole moment what will be the exact dipole moment uh, but i feel being in chemistry student especially organic chemistry should not be bothered that much about the calculation of dipole moment if you really want to find out whether the molecule is polar or non polar you have to just keep two things in your mind first if molecule is symmetrical mol if molecule if molecule is symmetrical if molecule is symmetrical then it will have a zero dipole moment zero dipole moment and it is said to be non polar okay but if the molecule is unsymmetrical and symmetrical then it is said to have certain value of dipole moment and it is said to be polar okay uh, before starting about uh, some symmetrical and unsymmetrical molecule let's have an example of some of the non polar solvent okay so as i have told you the symmetrical molecules these are the non polar ones so i'll give you a simple example of non polar molecule this is methane ch h and this molecule is symmetrical with all the angles 109 degree 28 minutes okay you can i have another example alcl3 okay the geometry is somewhat like this yeah. okay the angle is 120 degree 
but yes we are talking about solvents so i'll give you some of the examples of the solvents we are having best example like benzene ccl4 and then comes uh, cs2 if you want to see the structure of ccl4 it's highly symmetrical it is cl 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 so the sum of all the bond moment is zero now you'd be thinking what is bond moment it is the calculation in of polarity polarity in a bond polarity in a bond it is called as bond moment it is shown by an arrow where different portion represents the more electronegative atom whereas positive part that is the tail represents the less electronegative atom if all the bond moments are equal and opposite then molecule is said to be non polar but if there is non zero value of if there is certain value of bond moment then molecule is said to be polar so i hope you might have got the idea about the symmetrical molecule you can have even structure of ch2 it is also in symmetrical you can see cs okay then this also the bond moment gets cancelled okay in carbon and sulfur both are opposite so net vector sum will be zero let's have some examples of non symmetrical or unsymmetrical molecule we can have example of unsymmetrical ammonia ammonia is like this n h h and there is a lone pair so ammonia is a unsymmetrical molecule another you can have is h2o that this is h o h and there are two lone pairs so this is also a polar and the bond moment is somewhat like this from the bond moment of hydrogen itself we can make it that the net sum can never be zero because the bond moment ka net sum bond moment net sum will be somewhat like this okay so i i hope you got an idea about the polar that is unsymmetrical molecule a bit so we'll come back to our concept once again that is nature of solvent so solvents are broadly classified into two categories the first one was polar solvent and the second one we are already done it is called as non polar so in polar we are again having two categories okay the first one is called as polar protic and the second one is polar aprotic okay protic stands for proton means h plus ions h plus ions now i'll discuss about the polar protic if hydrogen is attached to fluorine oxygen or nitrogen any of these three atoms then it is said to be protic polar protic example h2o ammonia hf acetic acid alcohol such as ch3oh okay so these are the examples of polar protic now we are having example of polar or protic it is just opposite the hydrogen is not attached to the hydrogen is not attached to fluorine oxygen or nitrogen so we have example over here the first example is dmf dmf stands for di methyl formamide i'll i'll give you the structure as well h c double bond o n c 
CS3 and CS3. Okay, now the example is DMSO. It's called as dimethyl sulfoxide. The structure is somewhat like this S3C C double bond O. Sorry, there's a problem. Instead of C, there will be sulfur. H3. Okay, so it is DMF, DS, meso, then comes acetone, it is S3C, C double bond O, CS3. Okay, so these all are examples of polar or protic solvent. Okay, now in my next video, I'll talk about how these solvents affect the nature or rate of the reaction will make a video on this but uh, i think you have understood this video thoroughly okay and you just share it so that your friends can get information about the solvent and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks a lot for watching